All right, I hope you guys are having a great day. Before I begin my little preview of Dragon Ball Super Episode 74, my prediction slash breakdown, if you're a wrestling fan, if you like classic pro wrestling, I'd like to invite you over to check out my podcast over on geekdom101.com, the K-Fabulous Lucha Brothers Wrestling Show. We just hit 101 episodes where me and my partner Brandon Draven go back and we review classic wrestling pay-per-views. And it's a little controversial because we make all kinds of, you know, uh, sick jokes and, you know, insider humor and things like that. But if you guys are into that kind of stuff, definitely check out... The K Fabulous Lucha Brothers Wrestling Show on Geekdom 101 and also on iTunes. I just wanted to put that out there because a lot of folks have been asking me, hey, you talk about wrestling once in a while on social media. Do you have a wrestling YouTube channel? I don't, but I do have a wrestling podcast, The K Fabulous Lucha Brothers. So it's on geekdom101.com. Just go over to Podcast Lucha Brothers and it's right there. So let's talk about Dragon Ball Super Episode 74. Whoa, let me get back over here. First of all, thanks as always to Harry Price for uploading this for us. Uh, we're gonna be go ahead. We're gonna go ahead and do a preview now. I do have extensive Dragon Ball Super spoilers on the Geekdom 101 channel, which I'll be getting into shortly. Um, they don't really spoil the entire episode necessarily, but they do talk about some of the events that are going to happen, which we're going to actually see some visual representation of here in this preview. So, without any further ado, let's go ahead and. Um, talk about it but before i go any further i do want to give you guys a spoiler warning if you haven't watched super episode 73 you should watch it because 74 is part two of a two-part like great saiyan man makes a movie arc i guess you can say so um just letting you know that 73 and 74 are meant to be watched back to back and then of course if you've been keeping up with spoilers, which I'm not going to go too in-depth into, but they are on the Geekdom 101 channel, episode 75 is going to begin a different little mini-arc as we, of course, build to February 5th, the Universal Survival Arc. Let's go ahead and get started. That's the ending, of course. Whoa, that's loud. Gohan does the preview. Here we see, uh, let me go up here. Whoa, great shot of Grey Sam, man. Filming a movie is hard work. I like this shot right here because you can actually see through the um, little glass plate here. You can see his eyes. I really like that shot. Uh, I don't think we've ever seen a, a, a shot quite like this where you can see through it and you see him having that look on his face. I really like that. There is, of course, Pan. Uh, he says, plus, because of a diabolical alien, looks at like the Earth is in peril. Now, this this image right here, as you guys can see uh, from the uh, from Yonko Prod, thank you, of course, to Yonko Prod, uh, came out a few weeks ago, giving us a little bit of a preview of what's going to happen in the show. And I actually have my video pulled up here. I'm going to leave a link to this video down below so you guys can check out the whole thing. But uh, pretty much what that says is, the vile criminal Wadagash commits evil on Earth. Gohan hears that Earth has been infiltrated by the metal parasite Wadagash, who infects the darkness as host hurt. Uh, as host heart, excuse me, giving them superhuman power. So basically, the alien that Jocko's trying to find, uh, we already saw it in, se in episode 73, but it is on Earth, and it's, you know, I've already made the comparison that it really is like Baby from GT. There's a lot of GT vibes I'm getting in this arc. Um, some people have made a comparison to Garlic Jr., and I think that's um, that's fair, but I think it's a little more like GT. Meanwhile, Barry Karn hates Gohan and tries to catch him with a honeypot trap, but fails, whatever the hell that is. Uh, Wadagash appears and infects him. So that's pretty much what we're about to see right here. There's that actress who's in love with Gohan. And this this monster right here, I mean, I don't know about you guys. I want to get your thoughts in the comments. This guy looks like freaking one of the Shadow Dragons. Not not identical, but like he looks like he would be one because he's got like the weird eyes and the horns and the teeth. Uh, I don't know if this is supposed to be Wadagash's true form, but it's pretty scary looking. Let's go back to that shot real quick there. He's, okay, let, let me let me get a freeze frame on that for you guys to look at. Almost got it. Hang on. It's hard to catch, all right? There we go. Look at this freaking guy, dude. He looks something like straight out of freaking Dragon Ball fan fiction, like those bullshit blasting news articles with the fake dragons and characters that don't even exist. But this is real. Like, he, that's what he looks like, you know, weird, creepy monster thing, all right? And then, you know, then, of course, there's Gohan doing something. And whose hand is this? Barry Karn, of course. The Dell shot, I won't lose. And there's Barry Karn completely ripped to shreds. Obviously, um, 
the Wadagash uh, space alien criminal thing infected him. But boy, what a power upgrade for this guy to this alien to go into Barry Karn and looks like he's beating the hell out of Gohan right here. He's got him by the cape, dude. Flings him. Gohan, of course, says Henshin transform. Up here, as you can see, I think that is Barry Karn again. Um, there he see him powering up. So this this monster, Wadagash, is going to be a little tricky for our heroes to take care of. Uh, Gohan, of course, says I'm the hero of justice. I won't let evil escape. And there's Baby Pan. And this shot right here, i got to analyze that shot. Okay. Let's go back over here. Let me show you guys what I'm talking about here. Hang on a quick second. Uh, okay. This is what's going to happen next week. Kidnapped by the bad guy and in big trouble, Pan is abducted by Wadagash, who's been taken over by Barry Karn. But despite Gohan's company, Pan herself is more than fine. Uh, my prediction, and I want to get you guys' predictions, of course, is that... Um, I'm going to guess that what happens is that Barry Karn does indeed kidnap Pan and Videl's all worried about it. And, and like we've talked about before, guys, if you want to get Gohan to get serious, if you want to get Gohan to go back to being that angry young man that we all love from DBZ, you're going to have to threaten to hurt his family, right? And Pan is, of course, his daughter. But what I think is going to happen is um, Barry Karn, or I'm sorry, Wadagash got more than he bargained for because as you can see right here... Uh, First of all, this is a very, like, religious-esque imagery right here. But it looks like what I think is happening, dude, is that Barry Karn, or um, Wadagash, whatever, kidnaps Pan. But like we've, you know, if you guys remember that filler episode where Pan flies out into space and she can fly as a baby. Um, it looks like the story that they're trying to tell us here is that Pan may actually kick Wadagash's ass by herself and I think that light that shining light is actually pan powering up I can't really tell what it is from here if you can tell what it is leave a comment um, I think the whole joke of this episode is going to be that Gohan's going to try and rescue her but pan is so powerful that she doesn't even need rescuing which again that's going to throw the power scaling community for a loop you know what I'm saying? That's going to fuck them up because how strong is Pan, right? Um, but we've seen this before. I mean, the entire idea of this is that Pan is a prodigy. So uh, there's there's Wadagash looking scared and shocked. Next on Dragon Ball Super, for the ones he loves, the unbeatable great Sam. And we knew that episode coming in. Jocko's there. And, and Beth, I forgot to mention that, too. I think that at the end of episode 73, when Jocko was shooting at Gohan, I think Jocko may have thought that Wadagash had taken control of him or maybe the, the actress chick. So I'm thinking maybe that that might be why Jocko blasted him. But, of course, a, a, a shot from Jocko's cannon is not going to kill Gohan, dude. I mean, come on now. You know, this looks cool right here. It looks like he's charging up. You know, and then there's another shot of, of Wadagash, Barry Karn, you know, freaking out. So, this is going to be the end of this little mini arc. And then we're going to start the Goku training arc uh, with episode 75. But I want to know what you guys think in the comments. Do you really care about this these episodes? I've kind of noticed a lot of people not caring. I've noticed a lot of people have been telling me, oh, I don't, I'm just waiting for the universe survival. That's what they're waiting for, uh, which is a month away. I I'm wondering if Toei maybe promoted this a little bit too soon. I'm wondering if maybe they thought that uh, maybe they should have waited until mid-January to promote it, but they really want to get everybody on the hype train for that universe survival arc. So, again, to recap my prediction, Pan is going to get kidnapped, but she's going to figure out a way to not be hurt by Barry Karn. Um, I've had some people uh, question whether or not she's going to go Super Saiyan. I don't think so. The golden aura is suspicious, so if you think that, I don't blame you. But no, I don't believe that to be the case. And, you know, we're going to see Pan in action at the end of Dragon Ball Z. And then from then on, we'll see what happens. But anyways, thank you guys as always for supporting Geekdom 101. Make sure you punch that subscribe button. Oh, and don't forget to click the little bell underneath my name down below. YouTube's been very buggy lately. And, you know, I want to make sure you guys get all the updates. I'm expecting the new manga chapter drop in the next 10 days. So I'll have that for you as well as any pertinent spoilers or breakdowns. But if you like the Dragon Ball Super content, please feel free to explore the channel and look at some of the other videos I have because I have deconstructions and breakdowns of all kinds of stuff in Dragon Ball. 
um, Dragon Ball Z, GT, everything's covered on the channel. So check out the Dragon Ball in depth series and check out the Lost in Translation series on the playlist and the explanations. And I have a lot of breakdowns of stuff. If you're curious about, you know, knowing more about Dragon Ball, this is where we have it. And also we have good discussions too. And be a part of the discussion in the comments. I always encourage that. Thank you again, guys, and I'll talk to you guys down the road.